What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of the Pokemon X and Y playthrough. Now a lot has happened because I decided that I would be playing the game in a more natural sense so I'm playing it and I'm actually having a lot of fun. You know this game is definitely one of the best Pokemon games ever made if not the best. I've been playing with my girlfriend, been playing with a couple of friends and as you can see I've clearly advanced a little bit further than where I was beforehand so let me just explain some stuff to you. So right now I now have three Pokemon. I have Santana here, who's actually a Riolu, who I caught on Route 22. Now, I'm not sure if those are, like, rare or not, but I think it just might be, because Riolu usually is a rare Pokemon. So I actually managed to find one on Route 22. So I caught it, and now I'm training that on my team. Next off, we have Amphayane, who actually was able to evolve and become a uh, Frogadier, and she's pretty badass as well. I did also catch me a uh, Furfro because I love Furfro simply because of how bulky this guy's potential is. So you know, I really like Pokemon who are really bulky like that. So Furfro is definitely on the team. Mine also is lucky enough to come through with a lax nature so it has a ton of defense but it's special defense is a bit lacking but with that fur coat ability as well I'm not going to be taking too many hits at all but the thing is I just caught this guy so I'm actually going to have to train him at the top of the party so fur fro is going to be moved to the front. I call it my majesty so I think that's a cool name for the guy but anyways I'm going to move him up front. Now, as you can see, I only have three members of my team because I'm not trying to use too many old Pokemon. I want to see what new Pokemon are around. As you can also see, my Riolu, I trained it in attack with that new Eevee training thing. I can't lie, man. That shit is fun. That shit is really, really fun, man. Like, I really enjoy myself playing that shit. But anyways, now my Furfro Majesty, I actually want to train it in defense. So you know what? Instead of um, going... I just want to see what defense training would be like for Majesty because... I really like it a lot, like I think it's a great Pokemon, so I really want to see what it would be like using this guy for defense training. So let's see, let's go to level 3. Yeah, balls to the walls, level 3 right away, you know, I'll be able to handle it no problem. My Furfro doesn't have any EVs at all yet because I just caught it, so I want to give it as much defense as possible because I want this guy to be able to really take some hits in this game. Since my my Amphayane and my, um, and my Riolu, they don't really have too much uh, defense either special nor physical so I really want those two to really get like balanced off with a Pokemon that is able to take hits and no Pokemon better than my Furfur right here who I lovingly called Majesty simply because it seems like it's a royal Pokemon like it's regal so I like that name a lot for it anyways I have to tell you this is one of the most ingenious things ever to be done for a competitive Pokemon battle this basically means that there will be no player with any excuse to not be Pokemon battling competitively. I love this, man. This puts EV training in the hands of everybody. It's incredible, man. The Pokemon company really outdid themselves with this training type thing. It's really, really fun, too. Like, I got really, really good at it, so I'm doing this all the time. Like, I maxed out Amphayane's, um... If you don't know, I call all my Pokemon by their nicknames because I like all my Pokemon, but I maxed out my Frogadier's um, speed because I know speed will be something that Frogadier uses. I'm not sure if it comes through with um, attack or special attack more, but whatever. Speed has got to be something it's good at. I mean, it's Ninja Frog after all. What else is it going to be good at, you know? Defense? Like, obviously not. And if that doesn't even suck more, my Frogadier actually has a negative defense nature. So that's why this... this um, this fur fro is going to really come in handy, so I want to at least do one set of defense training with him. I'm not going to do this for too long, though, because this is stuff I should be doing on my own, not on camera with you guys. But I just want to try it, at least. And I'm not going to let him do any battles or any other Pokemon until I at least max out his defense EVs. That's one thing I know for a fact I want to do. I'm not sure if fur fro's attack or special attack is the one which is more prominent, but we will be figuring this out later on. But all I know is I want the defense to get up there. So this training thing is really, really fun, man. Like, I'm really having fun right now. Um, I want to get that red space so I can like do more damage because if you hit enough of those targets then you're able to get a red mark which you'll be able to hit multiple times and then you can like really really like just deal a whole lot of damage to the balloon like that. Alright and as you can see I unlocked level 3 of the training as well that's why I'm fucking with a graveler here. I mean a golem, golem excuse me. You're gen 1 how could I forget your name like that. This shit is really intense man I gotta I gotta hurry this up man I'm, already, I'm only at like 1,466 points. I really gotta hurry this up. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's get serious. Come on, bro, bro. Let's go. Let's go, Majesty. Come on, let's do it. Let's get, those, get that red mark. Get that red mark. Get that red mark. Yeah, there we go. I think we got it. No, no, no. No, no red mark yet. 
All right, we only got 29 seconds left, man. This is probably a bad idea to do level three training so soon when my attack power with these balls isn't even all that serious. Come on, 20 seconds left, man. If I get the red marker, I might be able to do this. Uh, no, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. All right, so it was a bad idea doing the training regimen this early in the game with Furfro since it doesn't have any EVs in training at all. So, yeah, bad idea. I didn't even get the red mark. I didn't even get the red the red target marker. So you know what? This was a horrible attempt, and I'm never going to try that again. <sighs> Damn, man, that feels like wasted time. But whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna scrape that one underneath the rug. You know, it's all good. Let me make sure this thing is recording. Yeah, we're recording. Okay. <laughs> all right then. So, anyways, let's stop wasting time here. Toughen up bag. You face the challenges. What the hell does a toughen up bag do? Well, whatever. We'll see you later on. But it's all good. You know, my. My fair fro, you'll, you'll get the defense in later. But anyways, let's progress with the game story. And by the way, the roller skates. And by the way, that the roller skates and the salon are some of my favorite features in this game. Holy crap, the salon especially. I got a ton of money from the gym leader, and guess where I spent it at? Yup, at the store, buying a whole bunch of clothes for my character, man. Hey, man, you know me. Versace, 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 Versace. <laughs> yeah, ex <laughs> that's exactly what your boy did with all his money. Potions? Nah, I don't need that. You know, um, <laughs> healing items for Pokemon? No, 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 not at all, man. We don't need any of that. All we need is some new clothes. Froakie's laying in a pool of his own blood. And I'm like, man, I'll oh, I got you. Let me just get this new hat first, all right? All right, so, Majesty, I'm going to train you up, definitely. But... Uh, not really right now. Let's progress with some story. Let's see what goes on. So far, so I just met the professor, and guess what second starter I chose? I chose Squirtle, man. You know, I wanted a more defensive Pokemon, but then my Squirtle has the hasty nature, so that's kind of a big waste in my opinion. It's kind of fucked up that I'm looking at things like that, but hey, man, I'm a naturally competitive player. What can I say? What can I say? Anyways, let's see if we can get over there. There's no way to get over there? Because I saw an item ball over there. That item ball was over there. What the hell? How do I get there? Well, looks like I can't do it. Oh well. Anyways, let's continue on. Alright, so if we see a Pokemon in the grass, we're gonna beat its ass because... Oh! A Pancham! Okay! This is good! I don't have one of those. Wait, I do have one of those because I, I actually did the Wonder Trade and I got one in exchange for a Pokemon that I sent out, so pretty cool. That means we don't really need your ass! And I love Furfro for its ability, and I love mine because it actually has the defense boosting nature. I can't wait to have this thing get leveled up a bit so it can just take hits. Like my girlfriend and I were playing earlier, and she was showing me how our Furfro took hits earlier. And I was just like, what? That thing is a freaking wall, man. It's a wall. It's a defensive behemoth. Kind of fucking counterproductive that mine is actually plus defense but negative special defense. But hey, man, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Okay, what the hell's going on here? My goodness, Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made of this nigga and his dancing. Like, his fat ass needs to stop. Alright, Tierra, do you know anything? Even during Pokemon battles, I'm checking out moves. My feet start moving too, I can't help it. It's like sword dance, that's why I can never win. Yeah, you're dumbasses. Like, it's a battle and you're trying to, like, you know, do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> he does, you know any sweet dance moves? Show me in a battle. Okay, let's bust this kid's ass really quick. You know, his fetish for dancing ends today. In this chubby chaser. Dancing, yeah, okay. He reminds me of that dude from Street Fighter. Like that fat dude. I can't remember his name because I never really used him, but that fat dude from Street Fighter. Okay, so let's bust that ass. Furfro may be under leveled here, but hey man, we still got us uh still got us a quite a good Pokemon, I think. Hit him with that tackle. Vice grip? This shouldn't do that much at all. That ability, man! That ability that was a critical Do you see the power of Furfro? And my Furfro especially. Majesty's got it. That was a critical hit. Majesty, let's go. I can't wait till I get the defense training on this thing. It is going to be a monster with taking hits. I can't believe it, man. Look at that. I took almost nothing from that. Let's go, come on. Let's go. You may not have that much attacking power, but the defense you certainly got packed down, man. And he's using Sword Dance. Alright. Okay, I'm a little worried, but hey, we, we might just have this, we might just have this, go ahead, go ahead, it's fine, it's fine. I got the fur fro with the, with the thick fur, what the hell's the name of the ability? I don't even remember the name of it, all I know is that it doubles, it basically reduces all defensive, it basically doubles your defense. Does it double it or? It reduces all moves that do physical damage by half, so that's kind of like, the, does it double? I think it doubles it, well, whatever the case may be. Your defense is definitely increased with that ability. And that's one of the only abilities that kind of raises defense like that, you know? Besides thick fat and a couple of others. 
Good to see you, Etika. Excuse me, I mean Des. It really does seem a though Tierra can only think about the Thank you! He said exactly what I said. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he stood there watching them. And what did he do? Dance with his dick out? Coming up on the world's Pokemon dance team is my dream? Well, what kind of dream is that, man? I was born to dance. At least there's one person in the world who's not obsessed about Pokemon all the time. Take this honey. What kind of homo shit is that? How do you give me honey, man? What the hell are you trying to do? Honey will encourage words to their peer. Oh. Well, yeah, I, I ran into a horde one time. Thank God they're all very underleveled, because if they were at, like, near the level that the Pokemon you have is at, they would fucking gang reap the shit out of you. And even then, a, a horde of five, I mean, a horde of level five Minun, five of them, would, would jump the shit out of my Riolu, and they almost killed it, man. And I was trying to catch one of them, you know? 